Would you like to learn how to create a painting inspired by the artist Jackson Pollock? Just watch. This is my fourth creation in a series. This is based on an orange lily that I did a drawing of and it just grew and grew from an oil pastel to a dry pastel to a watercolor painting and now I'm working with acrylics and trying to create an abstract painting that is inspired by the artist Jackson Pollock. But Jackson Pollock is not my only inspiration for doing this work of art. When I first started, I wanted to create a work of art that was thick like cake. And the one artist that came to mind who works with cake in very thick colors is Wayne Tebow. He's an American artist who is best known for his bright paintings of pastries and cakes, pies, ice cream, gumballs, but he does it by using this very thick layering of oil paint. And that's how I was feeling. I wanted to layer this paint. I wanted to use my knife. I wanted to use my fingers, my brushes. I wanted to have thick, heavy texture in there. And I wanted bright colors. I wanted you to look at this and like, wow, I wanted you to feel like you wanted to put your hands in this and touch it. And you should have seen my hands throughout the creation of this, but it was fun. I was starting to get loose. I was really enjoying it. But you know, as artists are working sometimes, Sometimes they're feeling something and sometimes they're missing something. And one thing that I used to do, I used to work very large, extremely large. And when you work large, you're using your whole body. The size of this painting, I'm basically using my hand and a little bit of arm. And I think some of my most exciting work is when I can put my whole body into the action of my movements. And it's coming. I look at this painting as a, a stepping stone. And I'm, I'm starting to get loose. I'm starting to break up things. And that's why I had to go channel the artist Jackson Pollock. I think of Jackson Pollock as an old friend because I have looked at his work and admire his work since I was in high school. In fact, I created my very first abstract expressionist painting. I think I was a sophomore in high school. And this painting still hangs in my mother's bedroom and it's one of the I think it's one of the most favorite things that I ever created that she owns anyway let me tell you about Jackson Pollock he's an abstract expressionist you probably say well what's that well I'll tell you he creates non-representational paintings all right he uses emotions like happiness and anger, um, ex 
expressionists use expressive marks. Now, what Pollock was known for was dripping paint, throwing paint, spatters. Paint just went all over the place. And a lot of times things happen by chance. And then you look at something and work from there. So I wanted to get loose with this painting. I wanted to go outside the lines, the shapes. I wanted to break things down. I wanted to, there's only one thing to say. I wanted to get loose. I wanted to feel like I was channeling Jackson Pollock with the drips, the spatters, and the throws. When you haven't done something in a while, sometimes you feel a little out of practice. But this used to be my specialty. I was one of the drippiest, throwingest, spatterness, expressionists around. So I'm gonna do a little more practice, see if I can regain what I used to have. But I feel good, it's the first step. We'll see what happens. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for stopping by the art room. See you, Mr. Smith. Remember, like, subscribe, share my channel with your friends. And come back each week to see another video. Thank you.